Hi, this is Manas. In this video, I'm going to let you know how to create and launch your own audio streaming website like Spotify without coding or an IT team. Usually, it takes a lot of time and effort to build your own audio streaming platform. You will have to know how to code, have an IT team, IT infrastructure. You must build the front end, the back end, and the list goes on. What if I will tell you that you can build it all by yourself without coding or an IT team? without having an upfront investment and without any time consuming process yes it is possible introducing movie your one stop solution to launch your own white label audio streaming platform let's get started so the first step to create your own audio streaming platform is to create an account with movie one Click on free trial to start your 14 days free trial. Type your name, company name, phone number, email, password. So as you can see the domain name is automatically generated here and uh, you can change this domain name to your own domain name once you will purchase the movie one subscription. Now click on I agree to movies terms and privacy policy and click on next. So under these uh, select your platform options uh, we will select audio to uh, create the audio streaming platform and website is selected other apps, apps you can select uh, from the CMS later and in monetization subscription is selected other options can be selected later from the CMS then click on next we added these tool tips to help you create the content categories and to create content customize the website and uh, add monetization so this is the cms or content management system and uh, first we will create some audio content like uh, audio single part audio multi-part like audio albums and before that i will tell you how to create the audio content categories so you can create different categories for your audio content so to create the category you can uh, click, click on the circle button that is on the dashboard or you can access it from manage content and uh, manage metadata uh, now click on add content category to create the content categories so you can uh, give the content category name then click on submit and you can all, also upload an uh, image for the content category so the content category is created and uh, you can repeat this process to create multiple categories for your audio content so after creating the categories we will go to content library where we can add the audio content so in the content library uh, click on add content to add your audio content so to add the audio single part content select the content form aod single part so these content forms will help you to add content metadata so content name and uh, content category is the mandatory metadata that you need to add so just type a content name here and the POMA link for this content will be automatically generated so you can select these optional metadata here like you can select the record release date you can add a uh, story and uh, or description about uh, the content then in the content category you can uh, select the category multiple categories can also be selected uh, so just need to uh, hold the control key down and uh, select multiple content categories then you can upload a poster for your audio content so you can select the poster from from your device you can uh, select any poster for your audio content you can crop it and you can use it for your audio content so here you can add some search tags uh, to help your end users to find your content easily on the front end and it should be added by the hash first type hash then you can uh, add the search tag hit enter and uh, you can add five search tags here I can add top banner for your content and uh, to add the top banner just click on upload banner select the top banner image from your device again 
crop the image and uh, you can use it as the top banner for the content. So after that you can add uh, cast and crew information here. So before that you can also create a cast and crew list here. You can go to uh, manage content and uh, cast and crew where you can add uh, the cast and crew details like uh, can create uh, add cast and crew and uh, you can add uh, the singers, the composer. So all that details you can add here. And uh, after that you can uh, click on add new cast, you can search the name here we can select the cast type like uh, if the currently the actor and director is present so if you want to create a new type let's say you want to add one singer so you can uh, create the type click on the tick mark and uh, new type can be created like this okay so you can add a cast and crew multiple cast and crew members for this content then uh, you can click on save and continue to save your content so as you can see some content was added successfully now we will go to manage content content library so the audio content is not uh, displaying here so you have to click on the filter to find the audio content you just need to click on audio under the content type so this is the audio content we created and uh, after that we will upload or map an audio file with this content so there are different file formats audio file formats that you can map uh, for this content so usually we support uh, multiple con uh, audio file formats we support uh, mp3 wav scc aff m4a m4b m4p dvf RAW, WMA, WebM and uh, FLAC uh, files uh, for the audio content. So to map the audio files with this content, click on upload audio and uh, it will take you to the audio library. So here you can upload the audio files. There are different options to upload your audio files like you can upload it from your computer, you can upload it from another server like if your audio files are present in another server you can provide the server path user id and password so the audio uh, file will be uh, downloaded and it will be mapped with the content or if you have stored your audio files in a dropbox so you can provide the dropbox link here so the file will be mapped from the dropbox with the content so i'm showing you how you can uh, upload con audio files from your computer so if you have audio files available in your computer you can uh, map them with the content so i am selecting one audio file and click on upload so the audio file will be first uploaded and then it will be mapped with the content so the once the audio is uploaded now the encoding process has started so you can see uh, the encoding process started here and it's showing how much time has left for the encoding and once this encoding process will be completed uh, so on the front end uh, the end users will be able to play the audio content and uh, during the encoding process we convert the audio files to mp3 format so the audio will be available on the front end in the mp3 format so as you can see uh, the audio file is now encoded and uh, on the front end the end user the audio content so and you just can play click on the play button and the audio player to so now i'm going to show you how we can add we can add multi-part uh, your content so this is the single part content i have uh, added now to add the multi-part content click on add content and uh, select aod multi-part parent First we will create the parent content then under that we will create the audio tracks so give a content name and formally uh, will be generated you can uh, add all these content metadata like you know real estate story description upload the poster then select the category add the search tags upload the top banner and add the cast art key information like you can add the composer's name singer's name okay and uh, then you can click on save and continue so the content was added successfully you can uh, go to the content library to 
see the audio content so this is the multi part parent content we added and uh, then we will add the audio track so when you click on the audio track so automatically the aod uh, multi part child form is selected and the parent audio is selected so you can uh, give the track name here let's say song one and uh, you can add the description you can add the release dates or tags upload the poster then click on save so we added one episode and uh, you can repeat the process to add multiple episodes and to create your audio album for example i want to add another track so again you have to click on add track okay then uh, add the track name the story description add this metadata upload the poster and then click on save so we created this uh, multi part uh, audio content now after adding the audio tracks you have to upload the audio files here just click on upload audio now you can see uh, uh, the files we already uploaded to audio library so these files are now available and uh, i can select uh, the files that i want to map with the audio track so once you will select the audio file so that will be mapped out with the audio content and now the encoding process has started and for every audio track you can follow the same process select audio files those are present in the audio library and uh, you can map them with your audio content So you can also access audio library separately where we can uh, upload your audio files multiple options are available to upload your audio files like uh, click on upload audio and uh, here you can uh, use the uh, browser upload you can use the server to server transfer option or dropbox option so apart from this we also provide these ftp details and uh, if you want to upload bulk amount of audio files to the audio library uh, you can use these FTP credentials to uh, log into any third party tool like FileZilla and uh, then you can upload bulk amount of audio files to the audio library. So the uh, audio is now encoded and uh, on the front end if you will click on the parent and uh, the individuals can see the audio albums like this so they can play the audio content and these are the two tracks I have added under the parent content. So this is how we can create uh, audio single part, audio multi part content. We can add multiple single part and uh, multi part audio content. We also have one import feature and uh, using this feature you can also upload bulk amount of audio content uh, metadata to the CMS. And uh, after adding the content so the next part is to uh, customize your website and for that first you need to select your template so go to website templates go to manage template where you can select the template for your audio streaming website now under this uh, manage template we will find uh, different templates so as you can see Revo template is activated for the store and uh, Revo template also support uh, audio content and can scroll down and can see other templates also like classic template then traditional template we have modern template and this is the audio only template uh, which we have specifically built uh, for the audio streaming platform so if you want to activate this template uh, simply click on activate and uh, you can activate the audio only template now the audio only template is activated so click on preview website to preview uh, your uh, audio streaming website and uh, this is your audio streaming website and you can uh, customize this website by you know adding banners adding feature content section adding uh, uh, menus okay so i will tell you how you can uh, customize the audio streaming website so if you are looking uh, for to create your own custom template so we can also create a custom template for you so you just need to add a support ticket if you want us to create a custom audio template for you 
so after selecting your template uh, next uh, i will show you how to customize your home page so go to website templates and uh, home page so here you can uh, upload your logo you can select the logo for your audio streaming platform and you can upload your logo uh, select any logo that you want to upload for your audio streaming platform select the logo and uh, then you can upload it for the so after uploading the logo you can upload the favicon and uh, then you can uh, scroll down and add the feature content section so to add the feature content section you can remove the sample feature content section just click on the trash icon to remove the existing feature content section and you can add your own feature content section here so i am deleting all the existing feature content section so to add the feature content section click on add feature section so there are two different types of feature content section that you can add one is a manually generated feature content section another one is the auto generated feature content section so here you can select the manual feature content section and select the type audio and you can select the content that you want to add in the feature content section type the feature content section name here and then click on save so now the feature content section has been added and uh, to add content to the feature content section click on add content and uh, then uh, select the content that you want to add in the feature content section so you can add multiple content to the feature content section just click on add content and search the content from here and you can add it to the feature content section uh, so this is how you can add content to the manual generated feature content section you can also create auto generated feature content section select auto generated select the uh, content type audio uh, give a section name and uh, these are the criteria that you can select uh, uh, so according to this criteria the content will be automatically uh, displayed on the feature content section so after adding the feature content section uh, let's see how your website looks like so we just click on preview website to preview your website and this is the website you can see we added the logo then we added the feature content section Uh, so next I am going to tell you how uh, you can uh, customize the menu okay so go to website menu and uh, we can add menu to the website so already two menus are added so we can add uh, new menus also uh, so you can add the content categories as a menu so we created one content category so we can add it to the menu so here you can see that I have added the music content category to menu section you can also add static pages you have created you can add uh, apps and external links that can be added to the menu so on the front end uh, uh, when you will uh, refresh your website you will see uh, the menu that you have added here that we, uh, just now I added this category that music to the menu section so when the end users will click on this category so they will see all the audio content that you have added under that uh, category and it will be displayed like this and uh, they can click on the audio content to play it and first the end users needs to log in to uh, play the audio content so they can type the email id password and they can log in and they can uh, listen to the audio content As you can see the audio is now playing and uh, they can adjust the volume here and play pause the audio here by clicking on the play pause button okay so this audio player and uh, they can also select the audio beat rate from this gear icon you can also add static pages to your audio streaming website and uh, I'm going to tell you how you can change the domain name so 
here you can click on domain name and uh, we can change your domain name here and this option is available when you will purchase the subscription uh, so once you will purchase your movie one subscription then uh, you will get this option to change your domain name uh, so if you have already purchased a domain name from any hosting service provider so you can edit the domain name here you can change it this uh, domain name to your own domain name and after that you need to point your domain to our IP address you can also configure footer menu so you can go to footer section where you can add these uh, footer menus like you can add static pages you can add external links so this will appear in the footer section of your audio streaming website and you can also add uh, widgets to your website to make it more attractive so after that i am going to tell you that how you can monetize your audio content so for that you have to add uh, different monetization models like uh, subscription pay-per-view coupons vouchers so before adding any monetization model first you need to add a payment gateway so go to monetization okay go to click on payment gateway now you can see uh, different payment gateways are there and i can select any of the payment gateways uh, that you can uh, want to integrate to your audio streaming uh, website so after integrating your payment gateway now you can go to monetization settings where you can enable different uh, monetization models like subscription pay-per-view then you can enable the uh, coupons vouchers okay to monetize your content and uh, after adding the different monetization models uh, so when your end users will visit your website so they can purchase the content whatever monetization models you have added like you know subscription or pay-per-view so they can purchase the content and uh, they can listen to your audio content so once the monetization is added uh, when the individuals will try to uh, play the content uh, on your website so they will be asked to purchase either the subscription or through pay-per-view whatever monetization you have added and uh, after purchasing uh, the content so they can uh, listen to the content you can see after purchasing the content the individuals can listen to the music so this is how we can add uh, different monetization models and i can enable it from monetization settings so here i have added subscription and pay-per-view so you can enable other monetization models like you can enable coupons vouchers and uh, allow your end users to buy your audio content uh, from the from your website and uh, after that they can listen to your audio content Movie can also help you to build your own white label Android and iOS app and allows your end users to stream music from anywhere at any time. Also, our content partner feature allows you to add multiple content partners who can contribute content to your audio streaming platform. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel to watch our latest informative videos. Please do not forget to use the discount coupon mentioned in the description below to get discount while purchasing your movie subscription.